hello guys good morning so first in today class right i will talk about the issue we had because i was unable to you know like follow and display the follow and following right the problem was the second uh user right profile was not displaying okay that was the first issue the reason is I remember uh, I had issue with the uh, you know like I, I was trying to create the account right uh, and there was issue with the uh, Clark okay Clark webhook was not running not triggering right that's why it did not create the user account in our database I mean you can create account in the Clark but Clark need to send the data right to our database and that was not happening that's why once that was fixed right uh, there was issue with the user uh, basically the user uh, id was missing okay so if this id is missing you will be not able to get the details right of the user and the profile will be only there right if there is an id okay that is the condition so that was the issue uh, we solved that now if i go back right here right now in my dev uh, profile but if i go to uh, if you look at the uh, username Felicia right uh, if I go back here and just type Felicia okay so you can see the Felicia profiles basically Felicia appear right you know you can send the follow request now but see the followers one follower right one follower so I follow from my to Felicia and then you know it's working right one followers uh, you know and if I go back so okay so i mean you can see here right the profile user information and all that okay if i go to the home page uh this is my home page right okay i hope that is clear now so how i can log in the felicia now right i cannot do here but i once i open the age here uh age right go to the local host 3000 and it should log me in because i logged in here before so it should log me in now right uh no login uh, let's refresh something went wrong yeah now you can see the logged in user right uh, but it's still not displaying the whole uh, data I don't know what happened again uh, let's see home page or here right Felicia Africa sign out let me sign out one time okay and then log in again right try to log in again yeah and now it, it work okay so you can see uh, my profile Valencia profile right one followers is there already somebody is following already you know if I click here it, it will take the Valencia main page right profile page okay and followers is one followers is one right following i don't know why it's displaying zero here you know followers is one here is one followers because one has followers right others will be following so if i go back to my my profile uh i should be the following right so let's check now go to home page or maybe if you go to the profile right yeah following i'm the following now right okay that's right one side is follower one side is following right but the only thing is if the data is created properly the user is created properly you can access to their profile in this way right and try to experiment by following you know and once you follow right uh, you know it will it should appear the friend request in your uh, box here okay you just have to accept or decline and then it will change right the the status will change to follow okay so see from following request it will change to follower right follower here okay and follower has the information of the both he following and follower right uh, if i click here the user uh, follower right and following you can see the both information right following id and the followed follower id right that is all we have here we that's how we keep track of who is following who right okay guys so today in today class right we're going to talk about the 
updating the uh, profile image right uh, what you can see here uh, let's see this is the profile image and i want to update how we can do that by using cloudinary right okay so just go to cloudinary create account or just register right if you have already just log in uh, then go to a uh, library right my library let's click on here what we can get right let's see uh, okay i'm in the library marketplace structure okay let me click one time here right uh, what you can do is let me click on the programmable media right just click on this programmable media okay on the left then you will reach here fine uh, then what you have to do is click on the setting button right just click setting and after that click on upload then here right uh, add upload preset okay when you click on this uh, you will get something like this right something like this the first name uh, upload preset name right give the name here i put social then the folder name just give the folder name right sign in mode make it on unsigned right make it unsigned uh, to set unsigned to enable uh, unsigned uploading to cloudinary right uh, with this upload preset okay so that means anyone can upload right to the image if you have access you log into the website you can upload right so just make it unsigned folder name and that is all we have to do uh, delivery type upload public uh, this all will be default right just leave it like that just keep on click on save and you're done okay save and done right once we finish with that uh, go to your api key here right api key uh, just copy this api key and the api secret right api secret this is the two things we need and your cloud name right here is the cloud name fine that's the cloud name three things now if i go back right and i'll check uh, uh, let's go back and check next js with cloudinary right just open this and get started and somewhere here right cld image yeah i think this is this first one maybe cld image right so basic usage let's see if i can find the information here not this one cld o image og image right cld upload button okay oh okay okay let's uh, okay this is the one cld upload widget right so this is the component and it's it will give you the nice ui to upload the image okay so let's check that one go to the basic uh, uses and look at here you just have to import this and then call your component right and inside you pass the you know like uh, here is just the button you're re returning ui right some ui okay here is a button when you click the button it will open right it will open the uh, basically the ui of the cloud upload upload widget so on click open the button uh, widget right widget means some kind of a ui where you can upload the image and there is there are some more information right so yeah that is all i mean this is the what we have and in in this place we're gonna put our uh html things right from the form okay so we will check that so and we have to install okay npm install so if you go to the installation right you have to install this next cloudinary install that and uh, you know just copy these three things right next public cloudinary cloud name so that was the cloud name which we got here right uh dp this is the one just check your cloud name okay copy that uh next let's see next what is next uh, the, then api key and secret right so which you have here and here okay so make sure you copy all that to this uh env variables right fine once we're done with that uh, now it's time to configure the cloudinary right so let's go back so in our code right update user earlier we had just the div uh this div right 
basically where you display the image the image right where you display the image and there was the text change button right like change okay so now as i told you earlier you just import the next cloudinary import that and after div right this div use the nav bar to profile change right and avatar avatar or user change okay after that just call that component cloud upload widget then you're gonna put a curly bracket and in the curly bracket because we're gonna write the javascript right so in the curly bracket uh you know let me just remove this right and then show you one time uh we'll just x like that look at here uh did i i think i i don't know what i did Okay, so I need to copy from here, not from here, from here, okay? Uh, up to this point, right? Yeah. Control X. Now you see, this is the cloud widget, right? There is two para, uh, I mean, uh, what you call that? Attribute, okay? The upload preset and the unsuccess, right? So we talk about that later. For now, let's not worry. See, in the component, in the middle, right? We're gonna have a curly bracket to write JavaScript functions, and this function will take the callback function. Okay, this is the arrow function, right? Look at here, curly bracket, and you return the UI, which we had earlier, right, from the before class. Okay, then this callback function gonna have the object. Basically, this is you just returning the function, right, from the object. Destructure the object or this. Uh, parameter this structure it you get this open function and because you have div or any uh, element right on that the first on the top level you just put the on click and call the callback function and run this function okay so what this does is it will open the widget it will just open the widget when you click that div right it will open the widget and that widget gonna have the place to upload the image and all that okay so this is the first thing you're gonna do and the remaining will be same right no changes here okay all the same only thing is in your cloud upload widget we have two attribute upload preset this will be the name of your preset right which we have given while creating the cloud uh folder right uh, cloudinary folder there you're gonna see the first one on the top okay i can show you now let me go back to the uh, upload preset i mean this is social right this is the one so i'm just gonna see if i can uh, i'll just click here again and uh, see if i can open from here yeah what was that guys so that's the one Will be somewhere here okay just wait upgrade plan up, uh, get api fix folder media explore you know i want to go back right uh i always get confused which one is what right i mean if you click on this media library you can get all the folder right what i have here but i just want to okay go to the setting again okay go to setting right And then it will give you all the list of the preset. So, oh, not displaying. Okay, so it's plan details. Basically, after setting, you click on upload, right? And then you will see this. When I open this, uh, you see the first one, upload preset name. This is the one. And then your folder name, right? That is all we have. So setting upload and then you're gonna get the list of all your uh, folder right or preset names okay guys so that is all uh let's work on the this part so that is the social that's that which we are working on uh so that my image will be stored in the social uh image folder right on success now see when you upload the image right 
it will success or fail it will return you back the result so on success when there is success right this result holds our url for the, for the uh, image the image when you look upload you're going to need url right so it this result has that url what i'm going to do is after this process you want to keep that url somewhere you have to store it in the memory right in the state so that you can use later because that url must be stored in the database right while updating the user clear so let's you know create this use state hook here cover set cover use state uh, this is i mean uh, i don't know if we can we can leave it blank or uh, it's giving error right so there is a type for that uh, so it work i think I can, I can just leave it like that right or even we can make it maybe string I mean any data type any means any right it does not matter any means any uh, yeah, you can make it a string is still fine but let's leave it to true and false right so it was false for now and data type will be any right so just leave it like that i don't know this error should be gone but i have to check how to fix that but it will work okay just leave it you have the state to store the link or your url and set cover right this function will make changes so that's why on success you have the callback function and you you get the result which will be getting back from the cloudinary and that result dot info it has the information right so we say set cover result dot info that's it and you're gonna get something inside this cover you store the result back to this cover right this variable so we can use later okay uh that is all we have and uh, uh, let's see once that is done right how are we gonna update our database now because this is just the cloudinary how we can update our database so let's check now what we can do now right uh, is uh let's see what we can do let me check so once we are done with that part uh, yeah so now because i need to see in the action right we have the this uh what is that this update profile right this server action function this function need uh that variable right the cover variable okay that is state okay so how we can pass here now that's the point okay so what we can do is in the action right in the form action we can add the callback function just change the little code from before right and callback function gonna get form data because whatever this form field here right whatever data you have in this form field like uh, in the first name last name whatever right all that will be you will receive in this uh, callback function this parameter right then you call your hook not hook but the action function right server action function update profile so you pass that one here you pass that so that means everything inside here right and also you pass the this whatever we stored in this cover so if there is cover then send the secure url right just sending the url from this cover okay this cover has many things you just send the url right secure url done so that's it this update profile will receive your uh information right like of course there is a form data which we had before also now we're receiving cover also that is url link for the image fine now uh the thing we're gonna do is uh, rest will be same for now right here we just put the curly bracket uh, before was uh, just like this right we just passing the filter data before right that was the we just passed the filter filter data but now we have the this image also and you want to put that inside here right you want to combine with the with this filter data okay so how we can do now we're gonna pass it in the form of object so i will just create object here 
and spread everything right and then you also pass the cover that url right save that's it so this is the cover cover you pass you pass additional field cover right now uh in the filtered field that's because see we have this props cover this is optional but we can pass right and then this validated field will be automatically updated in our database here okay. so i mean we can test quickly right let's go back and test see right now i have this image uh, i can change with the new image right let me find something uh, i don't know if i have in my download there is something then no cover right this is uh, okay this is okay so this is the image so let's upload this right before i had uh okay so let's upload that that is no cover it's still in my um, data right uh, inside my you know the public folder but i can find the new one on on splash let's go on splash or somewhere maybe excel uh yeah right and find some image so i'm gonna take i'm gonna take this image zen meditation right and if i can download that there is a link no save uh save image right and i'm gonna that is jpg that does not matter go to the download and i will make it image too save so i'm going to upload that image let's go back here uh, i will just click my update then i will change right i'm going to change so this is the you uh widget right this is a widget okay you have web address camera we can take image all that okay uh browse and image to open and see it start uploading now right and done just click on done so see what happened the url from the cloudinary is already in the uh in our state variable cover variable right i can change you know just change this like that i just make that change right oh what happened i don't know if i click something right yeah okay so just change uh, and then update okay just click on update now right so right now the problem is i don't have any like message here success message or error message right and if i click this even i don't have a way to refresh the page so i think the next thing is to add the uh message okay so we're gonna see how we can do that right close and i will just refresh the page manually right let's see if that works see now you can see here right this updated and you can even see the image updated okay fine so it's working perfectly uh we need to add the way to add, uh, what you call that let's add the message right message uh how are we gonna do that so there is something right use action state hook in the react 19 the latest one it takes the function and then you pass the initial value right okay so it's gonna take the function in our case our function who does the updating work right is the server action function okay so we're gonna call that action function and we're also gonna send the initial state to that function right so that we have that state available in the server action so how you can do that let's go through right you have to import uh just import this from the react right so let's import that use action state so go back to our form here and react use state and i'm gonna call use action state right that one then we can just above the return we're gonna you know uh let's const uh, what we can call right state basically form action maybe right action equal to use state 
use state what is that use action sorry guys use action state okay so that is all we have to do right uh, so uh, once we create this state and form action there is two things we have to pass uh, let me check the so so, we, we, so this is the function right look at here increment function you just pass the function as the first and the value right the initial value okay so that's what we're going to do so in our case our function is update profile right that is the function from the callback uh, we have here okay update profile you can see this and the initial state we're going to pass right so we're going to just pass uh, object success uh, will be false in the beginning and error also false right we just pass this and we're going to change the letter right we're going to change letter okay update profile uh yeah so success s u double c e s s false and error false finish so once we're done with that what else we can do right uh, so now i think this function gonna access have access to these things right also so we have to uh, we just go back to this function and try to so th see this function has many things now it has the things we are passing from here right the form data and all these things so that will be normal okay so they they all will be one thing like some like one item right and this will be one item second item so how are we gonna grab that here right so that's the point okay uh to this one so i have the code here right let me quickly you know just take this it's gonna take this right so that i don't have to write again because i don't remember most of the things so uh right now we just have the form data because this two will be one item right that's what we are trying to put in the in form of uh, in this way right there is previous state which is this so we one item we're going to get in the previous state form right you can name it anything okay and the second one is this payload right like our real data fine now we have to uh this structure is right somehow okay the fail payload let's call it payload okay and delete the spelling here payload fine so we got two items added one is previous state and payload right now go back so there is some error uh what is the error now okay the is defined payload is defined but it's never used right fine so we're going to use that we can destructure now right uh, let's see how we can destructure it so from payload you can get this easily from data and the cover right you can destructure that here and the error is gone right so the, once you have form data and cover you know you can validate that now it's same like before right before we had form data and the cover also only that two items but you know it's done the previous state now we're gonna use this and do some work right so what are the things we're gonna do is uh let's see so the rest will be same you know the rest will be same right rest will be same but how we gonna uh because we need to because see the, when there is success or fail right you want to return something so let's say the, this fail where is the first fail right the first fail is for example okay if there is something error or uh, you want to return something right so we can just return here uh success right must be same you know false and the error 
will be true right error will be okay so that's what we're going to return let me check one time so that's the previous data i mean we can destructure that also right can we destructure that Success is Boolean and the previous state. Yeah, I think we can, we can, right? Uh, but we are returning as a whole object. Just give me a second, right? Uh, I think this will be fine okay this will work right uh we don't have to do anything previous state uh, let me check also here success update profile so why is giving error form action update profile uh, i saying Overload one to action state right success boolean undefined. We'll see. Uh, let's continue right. Let's try to fix this one first. So uh, we, we got this one one place, right? And then where else we are using return null? If no user ID, I mean we can return this again, right? Just return this. Success will be false and error will be true, right? And then we're going to update our uh, data, right? Uh, even here, you can return the same thing. But if this is success, okay? Let's say update user where ID data, uh, data visualization field, right? Okay, that is done. after this one we can update right so we can just return mm, just return here now is the you know success will be true right and the error will be false So yeah, that is all we have. Let's try to uh, you know use this right. But the error here. Okay, so the, now finally it's gone right. But the form action and state. We have to use that. So let's figure out that one first. Form action. Form action. So form action. Then in the button here, right? Okay, so we have to use go back to the button. And then call this function right that's the thing left so let's go to the button uh, let's find the button right form data is here okay guys just give me a second right? let me let me find the solution for this and i'll be back okay so the problem was okay so the uh, here right uh, you know we have to add this function now okay if you look at the you know the react uh, tutorial right or PepsiCo document this form action now okay, we call that form action right basically we have to call this function so when the form trigger 
must be called this function okay so and then we pass our data right there okay so let's let's uh, continue uh basically we call that uh, form action and then you pass the form data and also you are you are your url right now we are adding before was no object but now we put in the form of object right so that whatever inside here will be one object and this is the one property also right with the cover now on the action side the error should be gone uh, let's see if there is any error uh, what is that let me delete no need to see So there is no error and uh, we updated now uh, the return right so see this will send the success or error message that is all if fail it will send uh, you know like success uh, false and error true right so what is what we are trying to do now right that information will be stored in this state okay state has the information now so that that is the object with uh, this initial value right so it might have success true and error false or success false and error true right so with that information we can display now what we can display is uh, below the button right we can say state success and display this text uh, state dot error then display this right we can do that easily what I can do more, right? Maybe margin top. Let's make it margin Y here so that there is a space top and bottom below the button also. Okay. Let's try now. Let's go and upgrade one time. Uh, refresh this page. It should work fine. Oh, use action. Use action, right? Uh, and what is the error? Another function, uh, it returns value is not iterable, right? Okay. Use action state. Let me check. Why is giving error now? So use action state, right? And then we have update profile. And then we pass the object with success false and the error false right error false we pass that close it close right so why is giving error and what is uh okay it's okay not fine let me refresh so update profile success to false right success to false it's not a function or it's a return value iterable okay maybe i just have to restart one time right let me shift uh reload the window right and it will hopefully it will work close that Uh, local host 3000 okay, so I think that is fine still giving error update profile type error uh, web uh, web pack imported module use uh, use action state is not a, a function or its return value is not iterable right I don't know it's what uh, let me check one time package JSON right because maybe uh, next uh, sorry react uh, it will only work in react above 18 right so sometimes that hook will not work in our you know like old react so npm 
ਅਰਥ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਸਰਾਂ ਦਾ ਅਰਥ ਹੈ so when i click the profile then it create problem right so refreshing click here and uh, yeah i get error update profile and then passing the second one right second value and why 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 So this is the error we're going to fix it one more thing you know we, we can add right like uh, I, i'm going to fix this uh, issue and then maybe in the next uh, video i will explain the one thing i want to add now right the button you know like there is a hook right this hook use form state hook right we can use this hook to basically you know like handle like something is loading right uh loading state basically okay so you can like hide the button right like display to none to the button when it is loading when it is success then you can display the button right or some text also so how we can do all that right let's try to do that quickly and then in the next video i'm going to fix that error and try to uh explain it what happened right i'll just leave it here uh let's go back what we can do is maybe we can create one button right uh, the button yeah what you know like remember last time what i said right when you upload the image also it is not refreshing itself when you close the upload box right or update box so for that in our ui we can do some work also right what we can do is go back here and import a use router right let's import that i mean we have used this before uh from next navigation okay and then we can call that here cons router equal to use router uh and then up uploading right let's say when we're going to use this right uh, you know like when we upload the we upload right let's say we click on upload okay i cannot go there just imagine updating right not upload but update and when you click the update like when you close the update box then you want to refresh the page right so find that uh closing box right where you close that box uh this is the one uh, this is just update right but there was a function remember uh this one i believe handle close right let's bring this function somewhere down here handle close uh, now there will be more line of course i'll just put curly bracket and try to go through right so first you're going to set the open to false that is the first is thing we're going to do and then we will check right next line uh state now we have a state variable dot success if there is success right if that is true then only we're going to update okay so router or basically reload just reload the page or refresh right you replace uh, let's make it refresh okay the page will be refreshed and that is all we have to do and 
that is fine okay that is good the next one is button right this button i want to hide when you click so let's see how we can do that uh what is the button here right that button so we can just call the uh, update button right let's create a component call update button somewhere here i'll just create in the profile okay update button right and we can call that update button so i'm just gonna put this here uh in my update user i have to call that button so import that import update button and run that right why are we gonna run from where we delete right so go back to the here update button like that okay so let's now fix this one so we're gonna use this use form state hook okay we're gonna use this uh let's see how we can use that uh so use form state right from react hook form from react hook form right use form okay i think use form state It, it is also in react dom right react dom also so let's see if i can import from the react dom okay uh let me try to import import and i'll just put here react dom right this is already available we just have to import right so use form uh status or state what is that uh ui state i believe so this hook what we can do is we can imp, uh you know like when you execute that hook right it will give you the property called uh property or yeah let's call it property right uh pending you know it will return the object and you can destructure it uh, to whatever things you need right in our case we need pending maybe there will be many things many other stuff right okay so use form state so what is the error now initial state right use form state use form state oh i need to i, I did mistake here okay i need to make a from right then only it will work pending so now we can write our ui right like for example let's call it uh, everything will be same uh, rounded md text is white uh, disabled so we can add a couple of more things we can add maybe disabled so in disable we can call it bg uh, uh, opacity right Uh, make it opacity 50 then disable maybe cursor not allowed right so when it is disabled we can make it cursor not allowed i think yeah there is and uh, disable the form right so there is a property disable you can you know just call it uh, Pass the variable pending, you know. Can we do that? Yeah, it should work, but why not? Uh, button. We have all these classes, and there is property called disable. Oh, sorry, not colon. This is the attribute, right? You must put equal sign. And now in the text here, right? We can. You know, like conditional right if there is uh let's call it uh, 
if the pending is true if there is pending then you want to you know call some text like updating right like it is happening updating okay just make it like that else update right update so that's good but the So only thing is this did not work, right? Uh, yeah, this did not work. Use form state. Use form state, right? It did not work, so we have to figure out. Uh, Is, you know it's this is not the state maybe it's a uh, status s t a t u yes i believe that's the one okay let me check and then we're gonna call s t a t u is status right ah, it's working it's finally so you know like next time when you click to upload you will see this button will be hidden right but i cannot go there there is some error you need to fix this so update uh yeah something is wrong here right so let me in the next class right i'm gonna figure out the solution for that and hopefully that will work right uh, hopefully today maybe or sometimes tomorrow i'm gonna have a next class so but I, i'm gonna have answer for this okay i'll try to figure that out state form action So that was uh, inside the update user, right? The user up, update user. What is happening there? You know, we can. Let's see. Let me quickly. Let me pause for a second and try to answer that. Okay, guys. So, you know, I update to React 19 it still did not work. Right. Uh, you know, I updated this. But it still did not work. So there, there are few more error, right? Uh, I look at chat GPT as well, and it looks like in a, I mean, according to, because we're just updating the message, right? Uh, some error messages. Uh, you know, when you're sending the data, basically you send the state, right? And you can use that state to update your uh, success or error in your. Uh, what do you call that the server action function okay profile update function right or user update function whatever the function we have what is the function name update profile right here okay inside this function so we can use the you know something here is suggesting me to you know basically create a new function fun i mean this is the function right here and then call that update profile function pass the information success you can send this uh set state right just set the state here uh if there is a success then you can refresh else catch error right and uh, yeah that is all we have then here in the form we can basically you know on submit prevent default So I, I think this approach I do not like, but I'll see. I'm, I'm going to implement this and see how it works, right? If not, you know, we can. If for now we can just leave it the adding. Uh, let's say we can leave the updating. Uh, what you call that? The error, right? But maybe I can find some better solution. Okay, let me check and see if that works. Because you know, here it says okay so the 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 use action state hook is currently only available in react canary and experimental channel right oh okay so i have to go through this and try to figure out how it's gonna work so release canary is published with canary tag number this one 
I might have to use one of the tag, right? Okay, let me copy this. Yeah, let me run this, right? Maybe it will help. I'm gonna run the server. Yeah, this is, I don't know why I just, you know, I should have find something else, right? Uh, can I just delete? this so uh, I have to remove this node module and try to install again or this one right uh, Okay, guys, I will I will fix this one later and maybe uh, I will explain. Okay, in the next next uh, class, right? For now, I will just stop here. Thank you very much.